Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVPNet's video series on data structure and algorithm series and this video is about iterative pre-order traversal of a binary tree. So the problem here is this iterative, otherwise you know this whole thing is a three line of code if you go for recursive version, okay? But then that is so easy and sometime interviews, not sometime, actually I have seen this is considered really very good question for interviews. So we know that we have to use some stack because this video is sponsored by C++ Builder, a full featured C++ IDE for building Windows applications quickly. Our customers deliver apps to market five times faster using C++ Builder than with other IDEs. That's because of our rich visual frameworks and expensive libraries. Prototyping, developing and shipping are very easy with C++ Builder. C++ Builder integrates with continuous build configuration using MS Build and CMake and has HTTP and REST client library on all platforms to invoke REST services and search specific AWS and Azure components. Link is given in the description field. You can check. In recursion, we use stack, right? So let's use a stack and you have to maintain that stack by yourself. So if you are using recursion, in that case, it will handle that stack stuff using recursion, but here you have to maintain yourself. So let's quickly see how you will use a stack. So initially, as this is your root, you will pass this root into some function, right? So let's suppose you have this and you created a stack with this root element. And then you will apply a while loop or for loop on this stack and see if this is not empty, then you will process it. So you will start this loop before starting, you will actually push this 10 inside this stack. Clear, right? Okay. And I hope you must be knowing what is pre-order traversal, but still I will tell you what should be the order. So I have learned this like this. So if it is pre-order, then you will have N, L and R. L is for left, R is for right and N is for node. Okay. This is for pre, P-R-E. And if it is for post, then this node will be post. So it will look like L, R, N. If it is post. And if it is in order traversal, in meaning in between, in between what? L and R. So like this, it becomes very easy for you to remember. You just have to position this node and node meaning you have to print it. Okay. So N meaning you will print after reaching to any node and then you will go for left and you will apply the same NLR at that location also. So if you want to see the pre-order of this, so it is going to be 10 and then you will go to left five and then you'll go to six and then seven. Then you have, you are done with this and then nine and eight and one. So this is going to be a pre-order traversal of this tree here. And I had applied this NLR technique. So when I was here, I applied NLR. Okay. N meaning N is the first one. So I will print it. So I printed this and then I went to L. Okay. L meaning left. So I came here and then I again have to apply N R N R. So N meaning print. So I have printed here and then went to left. Okay. So this is complete. This is complete. And for this only this is complete. And now I came here so again N L N R. So N meaning printing. So I will just print it. So I printed that right. Then again, I wanted to go for left, but there is nothing. So I completed that. I wanted to go for right, but there is nothing. So I completed that. And then I went back. I went back here and what is left? R is left, meaning I have to go to right. And after going here also, I'll apply N, L, N, R. So N meaning printing, so I'll just print that. So I printed. So similarly, this N, L, R, you will apply at each and every node and then it will be very easy. See, pre meaning this N is at pre position. Post meaning this N is at post position and in meaning this N is at in position in between L and R. So like that, it becomes very easy to remember. So we were talking about this iterative pre-order traversal using stack. So you have this STK and initially it is populated with 10. So remove this and print it. And after removing this, you just see, does it have right and left? Yes, it has. So you will push right first and then left. This is the key. Okay. Then only you can achieve pre-order traversal. So now your stack is looking like this. You don't have 10 here. It's just five and nine. Then you will see in this loop, does it contain any elements? Yes, it does. Then you will take out this five also. So you'll print this five. You've taken out this one. Now, after taking out this five, you'll see, does it have 
five, uh, left or right? Yes, it has. Then you will push right first and then left. So now elements are six, seven and nine. Okay, this is gone. And this is still not empty because remember we are running in the loop. So you will process six. Six is gone. And after removing this, you will see there is nothing in the left and right arm of this six. So you'll just iterate further. You'll go to seven. You'll print seven and remove this seven from here. So six is gone, seven is gone. And you'll see there is nothing for left and right for this seven. So you'll just go back to your stack and you'll see, okay, nine is there. So you'll just take out this nine this time. So you'll print it and you'll see, does it have any left or right? Yes, it has. Then you will push right first and then left, correct? Like this. And then you will take out this eight and there is nothing for eight. So you'll go for again this stack, one will come out. So see, this is how you'll do it using only one stack. And this is how code would look like for this pre-order traversal. We have this root as the input and see, we are not calling this pre-order traversal anywhere here. So this is not recursive. We are using this loop and a stack here. So as I said, we will create a stack and initially we'll put this root inside this stack. So let's suppose we are putting this 10 here and then while this stack is not empty, we'll do this process. Okay. So yes, stack is not empty 10. So you will take that 10 out, meaning you're just taking the value. You're not removing it. So removing is pop. Okay. Top meaning you will just read that value. What is there here? Okay. So we are reading that in this root and just printing that. So you printed it, you popped it out. So it is gone. And then if roots right is there, then you will push that roots right into the stack. And similarly, if roots left is also there, you'll push that left. So what I did, I just pushed nine and five and see, again, I went back to my loop and I checked, is this empty? No, it is not. Then I'll take this five out. Similarly, I will check, does five have right and left? Yes, it has. Then we'll push right first. See, I'm pushing right first and then left, then seven and six. And after that, I'll again go back to the loop and see it is not empty. Then I'll take out this six from here and just print it. And six don't have anything in left and right. So I will not bother about it. I'll go again back. This time I'll take seven out. See, so like this, you will just complete it like nine, eight and one. And in the end, this stack will be empty. You'll come out from this loop and you're done. It was easy, right? Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.